set a world record in the heats. 24.15 seconds on Sunday for the Australian. What can he do in the final? Two Brits either side of him. We'll get to them in a moment. The man in lane nine, Mohamed Buzi of Malaysia. Gold over 100 metres in 2016. How's his 200 form? Roman Pavlik, he's the 2012 Paralympic champion. Also the silver medalist from two years ago in Doha. Rodrigo Pereira de Silva, silver in the long jump in 2016. And bronze in 100 in Rio. Christoph Kuschka of Poland. Well, he was fourth in the 400 metres in 2016 at the Paris. What can he do over two? The first of the Brits, Graham Ballard. He'll get a big cheer. Fourth here in the stadium in London 2012. Bronze all the way back in 2002. And bronze in Greece in Athens in 2004. James Turner, there's the world record holder. Why well, wouldn't it be a lifetime best? 24.15 set yesterday. Gold in the 800 metres in Rio. And Paul Blake's the man he beat there in the 800 metres. And he'll the man he'll try and beat here. Gold over 400 in 2016, though. Gold over 800 at the last world in Doha. And Keegan Pitcher, his first major championships for the PE teacher from Auckland. Well, I saw Lynn Anderson, the chief executive of the Paralympics Australia yesterday, and she said, did James Turner get told it was a heat? I don't think so. I'm sure he knows this is a final, though. Pitcher in two. Blake of Great Britain in three. Turner of Australia in four. Ballard is the second British athlete who goes in five. Kuska of Poland in six. Pereira de Silva of Brazil in seven. Pavlik in eight. Mohamed Puzi of Malaysia goes in nine. Hand up there from Rodrigo Pereira de Silva in lane seven. Just having a few issues and difficulties. And let's just take a moment then to speak to Vanessa Lowe. You're back from talking to your partner, Scott Reardon, after his 100 metres victory. What did he have to say? Oh, just a big congratulations. I think he knows exactly that he deserved it most. And um, I think it was a really hard season, but yeah, it came to a positive end. Well, great stuff for him from one Australian to yeah. another one, perhaps. This time in 200, James Turner. That man there you just saw of Great Britain was Graham Ballard in lane five. So after Pereira de Silva putting his hand in the air, we're underway again. This time they do get away and it's Ballard who gets out very quickly from lane five. Inside him's the world record holder. James Turner of Australia as they round the bend on the outside is Mohamed Puzi who takes the lead. But here comes James Turner. What can he do? He broke the world record just yesterday. It's Turner out in front. How fast can he go? The Australian Mohamed Puzi in second place. But it's Turner who crosses the line. 24 1 1. It's a new world record again. Four one hundredth of a second quicker than what he did in the heat for the man who used to play para seven aside football for Australia. He's broken the world record for the second consecutive time. It's been rounded down to 24.09. Mohamed Puzi looks like he's taken the silver medal, but it's all about that man, James Turner. What a finish. Kushka, he's up there as well, but James Turner, well, I said yesterday, did they know it was a heat? He doesn't care. He's just going to run fast. I thought he'd keep on going when he went through the line. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Gold over 800 metres in the 2016 Paralympics. You can see why. He's got a kick, hasn't he? 600 metres less than that. That's Pereira de Silva, who's down on the track. He seems to have injured himself, so... Kushka, who came home in second place. And Pereira de Silva. 
with a new area record, even though he had a fall, he picks up the bronze medal. Well, what a race indeed. And that's for those. We saw what Aussie went in the last one, dear to you. Here's another one. Yeah, he trains with the legend Fred Rover, who just uh, hiked him. He's uh, very talented in getting the young athletes on track, getting them fast. Um, he's actually now focusing back on the on the uh, football a bit again uh, up until the next competition, um, just to get his head off and wrap his head around around all those performances he has been doing. Well, if anyone's out there, you're watching football clubs. Here's the man, James Turner, new world record. Second day in a row. Bahad got out extremely quickly, as did Mohamed Puzi on the outside. But just have a look at this bend here from James Turner. There was around 30 metres there where he just exploded into life and he comes out into the straight. He's got a lead of 10 metres. He goes even further ahead. The rest are just looking at him, burning them off. It's a case of who can get home and finish any further down the track. Mohamed Puzi falls apart on the outside. Kushka comes across, and here you see the man from Brazil who just gets across the line and has a fall in Pereira de Silva, who picks up the bronze medal. But that's class indeed, isn't it? Thanks, Scott and Jimmy, for this amazing birthday gift. Well, that is some running indeed. 21 years of age. How I wish I was that young and could run that fast. Well, there is confirmation of a second world record in 2.15.